Some alarming new data has just been revealed, which is incredibly positive for three US states and absolutely damning for the rest of America. When it comes to renewable energy deployment, it seems as though three states in America are taking it really, really seriously. They plan on deploying enormous gigawatt scale levels of solar, wind, and batteries. But many states in the US are just pretending as though this renewable energy revolution isn't even happening. They're just pretending as though they can continue running their old ancient coal-fired power stations and it's going to be business as usual for the next decade, 20, 30 years. You know, it's kind of funny. There's a there's a little bit of a stereotype that Texas is it's the good old the good old place, the good old state in America where things are still as they were back in the 19th century. It's really ironic because when it comes to renewable energy, Texas is absolutely belting the pants off every other state in America. I mean, every other state. Combine California, Arizona, put them together, double that number, and Texas is still beating that. Unbelievable, these numbers, guys, coming here, coming out from Texas. Really, it used to be California that led the way. Now it's definitely Texas. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, this is really what it all comes down to. Wind and solar. Texas is going all in. Now, speaking of going in, all in, guys, I recently went all in. I installed a, a 26 kilowatt solar system on my roof. There's 56 panels. They look really good because they're all black. It's a certain type of panel you can use. I actually use the best solar company that's here in Australia. They, I think, might be planning on a an American um, expansion at some point in the future, they've told me, but um, not yet. So just for Australians at the moment, I'll put a link in the description and they will give you a discount. I don't get anything out of this, by the way, just to let you know. They'll give you a discount if you use my referral. Anyway, the solar is, for me, revolutionary, guys. I, on average, on average, there's some days I don't, but on average, I make about $9 a day um, without a battery. And I've got a battery coming soon. So imagine what it's going to be when I've got a battery. It could be you know, more than double that. And you're looking at $140 a week. That's crazy. And you know what? Renewable energy is just, it's so, so affordable now. Solar panels, they're so efficient. The, the price continues to drop. The systems are so, so good value compared to what they used to be. And that's kind of what's happening here in Texas. Texas is like, well, hang on a minute. We've got Tesla. We, we better look good. No, I don't think they're doing that at all. They, I think what's, whatever's, whoever's in charge in Texas, the governor, he's really, um, sorry, I should, the governor, don't know if it's a he or a she, but they are making some really good decisions. In recent years, clean energy has expanded at a record pace in certain countries worldwide. Germany, definitely. In California, it has. Well, now Texas is taking over. Over the next 18 months, the vast majority of clean energy and storage capacity in America will be built in a small number of states. No state will see more growth in clean energy than Texas as per cleanview.co. Texas leads the country in planned clean energy capacity by a mile. We're talking triple that of California. In fact, more than triple. It's amazing. In order to understand why Texas is adding so much clean energy capacity, it's helpful to look at two factors, massive demand and the state's connect and manage approach to grid interconnection. Now I've heard guys, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard a lot of people from California are leaving and they're going to Texas. Kind of following following the, the example of Tesla, not, not because of Tesla, but I've heard that's happening. If, that's, if you've heard this or that's true, let me know in the comments. Cleanview.co says that Texas is adding more of everything. No other state is seeing more growth in electricity demand than Texas. While crypto mining operations and data centers are getting a lot of attention, particularly data centers, they are far from the only source of new demand. The state's population and housing stock are booming. Last year, Texas led the nation in population growth, adding nearly half a million people. The state added the second most new housing units. All of this growth is happening in a place where most homes are heated and cooled using electricity. In addition to adding new people, the state is also adding new companies and factories. In response to the CHIPS or CHIPS and IRA bills, companies have announced new facilities to make everything from semiconductors to EV batteries. And the truth is Texas as, as a whole has really embraced this clean energy revolution. I mean, obviously they've got Tesla and they went, well, who else can we get? What else can we make manufacture here? And they've, they've really taken this 
manufacturing clean energy very, very seriously. Earlier this year, the grid operator in Texas released a shocking presentation which they forecast electricity demand could double in just the next six years. Now, I don't agree with this at all. I don't think that's very likely. I think that very, very, very common for people when they buy an electric car to install their own solar. So it's kind of like, kind of like Texas is saying, well, everyone's going to buy, be buying electric cars. So electricity use is going to skyrocket. doesn't really work that way. I mean, Australia's grid really does prove this. There's been no increase in grid demand after people started buying electric cars. It hasn't had any effect at all. Anyhow, Texas is benefiting from what some analysts consider the country's best grid interconnection process. They've spent a lot of money on their grid and it's paying dividends. While grid operators across the country have been bogged down by delays and lengthy studies, as you can imagine, that's California for you, delays, studies, delays, studies, regulations. ERCOT has adopted a connect and manage approach that has enabled it to add more capacity than any grid over the last few years. Here's what a utility dives Ethan Howland said. The Texas grid operator focuses its internet connection request studies on what local upgrades are needed for a project to connect to the grid. In contrast to the rest of the US, it doesn't examine the possible need for broader network upgrades. ERCOT manages any grid bottlenecks caused by a new generator through market dis redispatch and curtailment. It's effectively acting uh, almost instant instantaneously. What's the result? Texas has been able to keep pace with its fast growing demand while reducing carbon intensity on the grid. Now, a lot of this, of course, has come about because of an increase in particularly wind generation, but also solar and some degree batteries, battery deployment in Texas. And looking at this, these numbers here, you can see here, over the next 18 months, Texas plans to build 35 gigawatts of solar, wind and battery capacity. That is more than double of, Cal in fact, it's more than triple California. California's planning on 11 gigawatts, which is crazy. California's, I mean, far more people in California. But that said, to be fair, California's grid has is actually very, very green. It's pretty similar to Texas. But as you can see here, Texas is going to clearly leapfrog California when it comes to its renewable energy deployment. And it'll be the most renewable state in America within the next year and a half for sure. Now, if you combine California and Arizona together, Arizona is in third place and you double them. Like I said before, Texas is still leading 35.6 gigawatts of solar wind battery capacity. That's huge. What is the rest of America doing? What are the rest of the United States doing? Look at these numbers here. New York, 2.5. Peanuts. It's not even 10% of what Texas is doing. Absolutely minuscule. I mean, guys, I don't get it. These numbers shock me because Texas is leading in the nation by a mile, but many states in America look like they're not interested in renewables at all. I mean, I'm, I'm talking, it looks like almost no interest from at least 20 different states in America. What's going on? What's the holdup? Why is that happening? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.